Hello everybody, Papa Blue Shirt here. Today I'm gonna work on my lawnmower. Got a John Deere one L130, and I need to put some new bearings on the front. Let's take a look at it. Here's what it looks like. It's about 20 years old or so, and uh, they have bushings in the front instead of instead of bearings. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> you can see it's about time to fix it. So let's see if we can get that off of there. All right, there's a little little C clip in here. Just take a screwdriver and just take it out. See, that's what it looks like. We'll keep that in case we have to use it again. They should have given me a new one, but then there's a washer. Put this back on how it was on there. And just pull this wheel right off. Voila! Yep, I went ahead and got new axles because if yours has been rubbing for a while, It'll have a flat spot on the bottom, so it won't work. So you need to get a new one. All right. So now we've got a 13 and a 15 to hold this tie rod. And then the whole thing will just drop down. I'm just going to slide this. I've rubbed a little grease on this so we can make sure it has a little bit of grease on the whole thing. And just put this clip back in here. Put that back in there. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. Well, that's pretty easy. I think I'll grease this before I put it all back together. Put that washer in there. So it can spin. Probably have yeah, this just be a standard kind of thing here. Use it on a whole different type of lawnmowers, all different types. Come on. Now, now I got it like it's supposed to be. Now let's see if we can get some in there. All right, I see grease coming out everywhere. So, oh. uh, that'll work. Now put this thing back on here, the tie rod. Yeah, it's gonna be fun getting that back on. go that wasn't too bad all right now put this tie rod back on
All right, I'm tightening up the tie, Ryan. All right. All right, I went ahead and changed my gloves so it won't be so greasy. But what we want to do is get this on the edge here. And boom. That one's off. Yeah. One of them. And let's do this on the other side. Get it where I'm supposed to get it, evidently. There we go. Yeah, what I did is I run that punch down right through there. That's where the grease gets by on these bushings. Now, gotta get a socket. All right. And I got a couple of sockets here. So I can tap that down there. Oh, don't take much to tap it in there. I wonder if these need to be packed. They look like they're sealed, so I don't think you need to pack them. <sighs> All right. This is something I should have done at the factory. Just have a bushing in there. These are regular bearings. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. I think I'll go ahead and grease these before I put them on. I wonder if they missed these because they're in the inside. He's very good at like this. I like to put some grease on these. I got to grease these up real good. So they'll be sliding around in there and they won't be binding. There's two, and then the wheel. Wow. All right, I took the washer from the other side. I had a different washer on the other side, so, but I think this will work really tight doesn't have the play like it had before so I'm gonna grease that and then we're gonna do the other side
Well, that's what it looks like. Should have cleaned up those caps. Got the caps all greasy. But it's done. Yeah, it's pretty straight. I'm gonna get a paper towel and wipe off that grease and I'll be done. Alrighty, this is Papa Blue Shirt. Thanks for coming along with me today. It's a real easy job, take you an hour, hour and a half. And uh, I'll leave a link for all that down below. And may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.